What's going on everyone? And welcome back to Treebeard's Toy Box. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at this brand new DC Multiverse, the Batman 2022 Bat Cycle from McFarlane Toys. So like I have said before, I am really excited for this upcoming The Batman movie. And I'm stoked to check out this Bat Cycle because I uh, think it looks pretty cool. And hopefully we can get Batman on it without too much trouble. So here we get a nice view of the Bat Cycle here in the front of the packaging. We get this nice, the Batman logo that I love. We get the DC Multiverse over here. And we'll get a good view of the top of the bike there. And we get that Batman logo again, as well as our McFarlane Toys logo up here. For the back of the packaging, we get this nice image here that is also going to be on the trading card. With the Batman logo again there, and our McFarlane Toys logo. And we get the other figures here. We've got the Penguin, Catwoman, the Riddler, and the Batman. And here we have one final look at the front of the packaging. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this Bat Cycle out of the packaging and check it out. And here we have our Bat Cycle from the Batman 2022 out of the packaging. And I think this Bat Cycle is pretty badass. Um, yeah, turned out pretty great here. I actually did have to take the stand out, which as you know, I usually leave the stand and the trading card in the packaging with these McFarlane figures. This is the first vehicle I have gotten from McFarlane Toys. Um, but this will not stand on its own. So you will need to take the stand out of the packaging. And you just get this little guy here and it's got this little indentation in there where the back tire sits. So that works out pretty nice. Both the wheels do turn and we get this like uh, rubber for the tires, which is nice. We get a lot of nice detail on this thing. Uh, not too many colors, just mainly silver. We've got some different shades of black, like some matte blacks going on. I like the seat here. I like the colors here for these. I mean, it, it looks pretty great. I'm pretty stoked to have it. And I'm stoked with how it turned out. I do wish that they did the headlight a little different. It's just painted there, so I don't know if they could have used something that was like, like a clear plastic or something to uh, make that a little better, but um, you know, I don't hate it. I just, you know, it's okay. I love the design of the bat cycle though. I think it's really cool. So along with the stand, we also get the trading card and I did still leave it in the packaging, even though I had to crack the plastic to get the stand out. I still left the card in there. I've got no use for it outside the packaging, so that is where they stay. We also get this right hand for Batman because on the Batman figure, he comes with a left gripping hand and then a right kind of open hand um, that his grappling gun goes into. So um, the one thing I am concerned with is how we are going to get these stiff hands on the handlebars. So I think that it would have been beneficial had McFarlane decided and it would have been really easy to do had these been like kind of pegged in and I already tried to remove them and they're not unfortunately. But we could have just had these peg in and then you could slide them through the hands and then peg them back in. That's how, you know, I would have done it had I designed it or made the hands a little more pliable or just not had these uh, mirrors here. I think that's what those are, yeah. Uh, they just kind of get in the way of the handlebars. So, uh, but it's mainly because the design of the hands on the figure. They're really stiff and it's a really hard plastic. So what I am gonna try to do, I think, is I am going to heat the hands up and maybe apply the hands to the handlebars then get Batman on the bat cycle and then snap his arms back into his hands. So that's what we're going to try here. Um, 
give me just a minute and let's see if we can make that happen. And there you have it. I was able to get him on there just fine. It wasn't too much of a hassle. And I did take his hands off, but I don't know if you need to. I think if you just hit him with a hairdryer just slightly, the uh, the grip is open just enough that it, it, it almost slides right over the handlebar. So it's not as big of a pain in the ass as I thought it was going to be. So um, he doesn't look, you know, perfect on it. Like it's, it's definitely hard to get his legs around there because of the, uh, the way the articulation is. Um, but it works. You know, I'm happy with it. I'm also really excited for this movie, so that has something to do with it, probably. Uh, but no, I think he looks alright. I'm stoked. And for my first McFarlane vehicle, I'm pretty happy. And this is how Batman looks on it, so <laughs> I hope that this helps you in deciding if you want to buy this or not. Um, I think $29.99 is a pretty fair price. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with the Bat Cycle. It's got some nice detail. Feels like good quality. The only thing that I had wanted to be a little different maybe would be the headlight. Had they done that a little differently, maybe with some clear plastic there and just instead of just painting it. And then also, I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, mirrors being on the handlebars. That's just a nitpick. I think the design's fine. It's just uh, functionality. But like I said, he wasn't too much of a pain to get on there. So it's not too bad. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I'm giving all these figures sevens, but I, I'm going to give it another seven. You know, I give Batman a seven, give Catwoman a seven out of 10. And I think I'm going to do the same for this Bat Cycle. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you did like what you saw, please remember to hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell on the way out so you know when I got new videos coming. And until next time, take good care.